Hey guys, what is up? It's TK here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get Pokemon Go map working on your computer and on your phone simultaneously. Why is it going on your phone, you may ask? Well, now when you have it on your phone, you can actually update the location automatically based on your location. You'll get your phone's location and constantly move the location every certain ticks. So, how do we get started with this? So, I recommend for the update location, you need to download the latest master branch. Now, there's a few differences if you haven't already installed it or if you have already installed it based off my old video. So, my old video tells you how to install the master branch, which is great. However, there's been a few changes. So, basically, before you put your Google Maps key in the credentials.json that is now different now you put your gmaps key here in the command line in dash key and then you would paste it in so dash k which stands for key and then paste it in pretty straightforward but it's different so if you go back and watch the video if you're a newcomer to this map Try please note that, um, or come to this after and notice. I will be updating that video as well, uh, noting that. So let's get going. So we've got all this. You got all this. So we'll know about the location, the step rate, the host, the localization. Now we've got capital P sixty nine. Well, sixty nine is the port number. So if I opened up the map, if we go to local host five. Thousand, which is not going to load anything so I'm not running anything just yet but after the local host it has 5000 and that is the port but I'm in this command line I'm changing that to 69 so to show you how to change the port so you can run multiple instances of different ports and port forward all those different ports to create temporary URLs to open on your phone and it can be multiple people on your phone um, like using your phone multiple people um, using these URLs so awesome let's get straight into it so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to open ngrok ngrokle not ngrokle ngrok here still, still got it click download choose your platform you're going to download it you're going to open up in WinRAR or something and then basically drag it to your desktop. Perfect, that's all we need. And you've got this there. <clears throat> so you can double click that and it's going to open this window. You can leave that for a second. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go and fill everything in just here. So for example, I'm going to put in my password. Uh, let's go over here. Da, 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 da. Just bear with me a second. So this video would be really quick. However, we are having to go in and explain a few other little things. I'm afraid to do with the changes. I feel like you know I kind of have to just say them because if I don't, then people are going to get confused and whatnot. So that's all there. So you remember I changed the port to 69. Right, so it's running perfectly. Awesome. Very nice. So now what I type in here is ngrok H T T P and then the port number. So we changed it to 69. The default if you weren't changing the port with the capital P value would be 5000. But as I say, we're running on 69. And it basically says the tunnel is online. Da, da, da. It gives you some statistics about it. But here, so it says forwarding. So you see this here. So you want to uh, select this. Control, copy it. Go to your browser. Open up a new tab. Copy and paste that. It's going to open up the Pokemon Go map and you want to allow notifications and boom it's showing this here you go to options you can follow location 
and it will basically ask you, it will pop up and ask you if you allow it to uh, gather, like get your location information. I already denied it um, at the minute because I'm on my computer. I don't want it to change based off my actual real life position, obviously, my com where my computer is, because that's going to show where I live. Um, but if you look here, so we're using this URL that it gave us, which is all very nice. But also, if you do localhost like this and then change the 5000 to 69, that's actually what it's running off. So if you t try type 5000 it's not going to load anything so I'm not running off 5000 but let's say I wanted to run off 5000 well that's pretty easy I'm just going to copy all this line I'm going to go to the folder open another command window here uh, copy and paste some stuff in uh, quickly put in my G maps key boom enter again so it's starting again but this time it's on the default host of 5000 so now if I do localhost 5000 it's gonna load it as well obviously it's in the same location but you could actually change that and we got a squirtle and it's notifying me that we got it that's pretty cool I like that uh, that's just a little side thing to the new update um, so basically what we're going to do is we are going to then go back to Ingrock we can do it we should be able to uh, type no we can't there we go I know what we need to do yeah, minimize all this minimize all this again and we want to open up Ingrock again I think there we go Ingrock again then we do Ingrock H TTP 5000 which is the port that we're running again we're going to select this second link copy and paste it and paste again <coughs> and here we go so we have basically two instances so you got the localhost 5000 which is here which is the one that we just created secondly this is the link to the 69 port that we port forwarded so you can open that on your phone again and then this is the second like the third link i guess here We've got the second instance that we're running on the 5000 port so if i wanted i could change the location on this uh to uh oh i don't know england london okay it's going to change so you'll see on actually there it hasn't changed which is interesting that's quite inter interesting actually but here you can see it's uh, loading everything in which is great you can disable things you've managed that separately so this is loading a second <gasps> there's a blastoise in london there's a blastoise in london uh oh uh oh spaghetti yeah. well anyway awesome and you've got all this as well uh, you've got basically two instances running in different locations and as I say if you want to have it on your phone click follow location and whilst you're on your phone if you enable that whilst having it open on your phone it will ask for the location of your phone make sure you have it enabled on your phone like at the top bar you know you can choose Wi-Fi on Bluetooth on that sort of thing you have to allow your location to be found on the GPS so that's about it guys if you have any questions leave them in the comments as always i'll try help if not i'm sure other people will try help like they have on the last video i thank you all for the support that you've been giving on the videos it's been great so far um but yeah if you have any questions let me know see you in the next video